Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to tweak your Galaxy S6 with CSC mods. Now CSC stands for Customer Service Customization, and it's basically a set of XML files that let carriers make slight changes to the interface of your phone. A lot of times this is why you'll see, say, the AT&T version of a phone has a feature that the Sprint version does not. A good example of this is that the Sprint Galaxy S6 doesn't show an NFC icon in the status bar when you have that feature enabled, but most other models do. Well, these features can easily be enabled or disabled if your Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge is rooted. And speaking of root, we have an easy to follow guide available on Gadget Hacks that will help you get super user access in no time. But to get started, head to the Google Play Store, then search and install an app called CSC Feature Expert for Samsung. And when you have the app installed, go ahead and open it and we'll see how it all works. Now right off the bat, CSC Feature Expert will ask for super user access, so tap Grant on the pop-up. From here it may look a little complicated at first glance, but it's actually fairly simple once you familiarize yourself with it. Basically, you can sift through this list of active features if you want to, but it's a fairly big list as it stands. So if you want to narrow things down a little bit, you can use either this search menu at the top of the screen, or you can use the drop menu to select a certain category. In this case, I'll go with camera because there's a pretty cool feature I wanted to show you in here. If you scroll down to the bottom of this list, then select the shutter sound menu entry, you can actually enable a setting in the camera app that'll let you mute all camera sounds. My phone already has this menu, but if yours doesn't, all you'd have to do to enable this menu is change the value here to true, then hit save. Another cool feature I'd like to show you is here under NFC. You see how I have the NFC icon in my status bar right now, but if I head to the NFC category here, I can change that. Again, scroll down to the bottom and select status bar icon type. Now most US models of the Galaxy S6 have this stupid icon in the status bar when your NFC is enabled, even though it has virtually no impact on battery life. But the Sprint variant does not show this icon, even when NFC is turned on. So for me, the value for this one is set to TMO since I'm on T-Mobile. But regardless of what yours says, just delete these three letters, then change them to read SPR instead. When you're done there, just hit save, and you'll see a toast message saying that you need to reboot before any changes will take effect. But once you've done that, the NFC icon in your status bar will be hidden even if you have NFC enabled. And these are just a couple examples I wanted to show you, but there's plenty more that you can do with this app. Basically, just poke around and see if you find anything interesting, and when you do, most of the time a feature can be enabled by setting its value to true or enabled. The same goes if you want to disable a feature. Just use false or disabled, or basically make it reflect the other values in the same category. So all those little annoying carrier modifications can be undone, and it's actually pretty simple in the end. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.